All right, guys, doing a guitar song today. George Harrison, What is Life? Let's take a listen. Nope, did it wrong. All right, lots of fun. Hey, guys, I'm Sean Cheek of webpianoteacher.com where we gather together to learn, play, and share the music that we love, creating a culture of encouragement for all you guys out there trying to learn piano online. You can do it if you choose the right lessons and you know how to practice. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> if you are a member of webpianoteacher.com, you can download the sheet. Lots of good stuff on there. I, I arrange this for a piano. I include all those neat stuff that's going to make it sound like the album version. Even if you are not a member and you have no money, you can still watch all my free part ones right on the website. No YouTube ads and all that stuff. And my website is a great place to do searches for the kinds of music, you, kinds of lessons that you want. Especially if you are a beginner and you need easy beginner lessons that start at zero. I have those. They're my all-new Easy Piano Lesson Series, 50 lessons. You can download all 50 sheets in one PDF if you're a member of the site because I want everyone to have beginner lessons if they need them. Let's get started with our part one. So there's lots of ways to do this. I'm going to show you several ways for if you need something easy and then something more advanced, if you can do that. But if we look at the board here, we see uh, the guitar starts out, da 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 single guitar. A lot of times when I have a simple single guitar line and it has distortion on the guitar, it kind of makes it heavy. And so I want to recreate that on the piano as best I can. So I'll do octaves to kind of thicken it out. And so I'll play octaves in my left hand and I'll play single notes on my right. Because this is too big. That sounds like a piano concerto or something. I just, this is enough. If that's too much for you, let's just take single notes start with. All right, and this is a good song to do if um, you're working on beginning kind of scale stuff and you're working on that left hand to be able to play kind of scale stuff instead of just octaves. I like to use real songs to teach things and instead of creating an exercise that's uh, you know, meant to teach something. I like to, why don't we learn a fun song while we're learning to do a technique on the piano? And this is kind of one to start that left hand scale stuff. So if you need some help with that, this is a great song to do that. All right, so we have E, D sharp, C sharp, B. I'm going to use one, two, three, four. On my left, on my right hand, I'll use E, D sharp, C sharp, B. So da, ba, 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 that's the first part. Da, 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 da. Now I like this because you get a second to change before you do the next part. Okay, that's the way the music goes, but it kind of naturally gives you a little break there so you can get your hands in the next position. Isn't that neat when that happens? So D sharp, C sharp, B, A. I like to play it in the key it's in. I'm not going to try to change it uh, to an easier key with no sharps. So you can play in sharps and flats. You just have to do it. Okay? Jump in there and do it. D sharp, C sharp, B, A. And all we have left is A, A, B. Let's not use any pedal on this because listen how awful this sounds. Okay, and there will be somebody out there, probably a lot more than we realize, that just hold the pedal down and play this. Don't do that. No pedal. Okay, so if you can do that and get that down, one of the things that you'll learn in the Easy Piano Lesson series is the learn, play, share aspect we have. I know that sounds kind of corny, but man, it works. People are doing it, and it's working all across the world <laughs> if you'll do it. The learn is this, the classroom, the studying where you learn where to put your fingers, you work on just how to do it. And then the play part is after, that's the next step, after you get that down, you just play the thing you learned, rep, repetitions. You know you're in the right room and you're doing repetitions on the bench press or whatever? We do reps in piano, good reps. But we can't do good reps until we have the notes down under our fingers very well in the classroom. Now we're ready to go out and just play it over and over again to get it in our motor memory, in our, me uh, in our, uh, our oral memory, we call it, A-U-R-A-L. So spend time just playing it after you learn it, okay, over and over again so that becomes part of your memory. And uh, so let's get to that part of it. So we've learned it. Now we're going to just play it. How many times? Well, I like to do things in groups of three. So three times is good. 
You can play it three times in a row. That's a good way to do things. Any more than that, you kind of, you know, not really getting out of any much out of it right there in that sitting. Okay, so we have both hands together, single octaves. Here's the next way you can do it. Um, we can add these chords on top. I put these small because I want those to be, um, you know, something additional. Some of you, some of you can do that. It's a little bit hard to sync it up rhythmically, but we're going to do that in part two. Okay, so first of all, for all of you, no matter what skill level you are, work on just those octaves. Get that down first. And in part two, I'll show you how to put octaves in the left hand, put those chords in there on the right hand, plus the rest of the song. There's so much more to do and so much fun. See you on webpianoteacher.com.